up, down, up, down, up, down. Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Seraphim. Last time, Tomoshida confessed all his sins and crimes. And now I gotta go pawn off his gem. Weird. Yogen Jaya. This is Yogen Jaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Head on up to Central Street and pawn this sucker off. Okay, so apparently he's doing some illegal things in here. Huh? Hey. Take this with you. It's thanks for selling that metal. But uh, best not to open it. Just bring it with you next time you come back here. Okay. They're here. Go, kid. your attitude. An upstanding citizen is supposed to cooperate with the cops, right? <laughs> you bastard. Hey, you. What's in that bag? Show me. The kid's a regular old customer. You can check the tapes. That'll, that'll convince you. They'll show you that he's gone down here today. I don't want to be here when the detectives see the footage of me with that gold medal. I should leave. I should actually be going. <sighs> okay, so this see guy's ya. doing some pretty shady under the table stuff. Gun? I think it's just a model. Hey, hey! Now's our chance. A key item, paper bag. It's me. I saw the news, you know about Kamoshida? It's getting a lot of coverage. Serves him right. I'm not sure about that. No, hold on. Posture is everything and whatnot. Yeah. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. 
I'm sure we did. It's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now. This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late. I remembered. <laughs> Might be Chinese food. <laughs> Sushi? Uh, I do like uh, the like the baby lobster roll or a, basically the shellfish, the crab or lobster sushi. It has to be cooked, but you know it's pretty good. Meow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Let's not do that today. Hey. You know, I would like to study. Hey, hey. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead and sleep. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady An chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. Well, of course they are. But we got him pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. Well, we kind of did. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Wonderful. I need to get a preamp for these microphones. Look at this. Anyone want to send me $200 to buy a preamp? I'm not going to even bother with that. I have a job and I can work my ass off. I can save money and buy a preamp after I get my car fixed. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? You plan on eating? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... Of course I'm having a bowl of curry, too. At least I think that's curry. It looks like curry. I hope it's curry. I like curry. <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh, crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left. Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! <laughs> you know, you could probably ask for some to-go stuff. Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Just saying, you could probably grab a to-go box. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Protein! Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! So... Sakamoto likes his protein and On has a sweet tooth, okay. So happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! <laughs> Hang on, I need to blow out a candle. How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want. So I just grabbed you some beans. Uh, beans? 
There were some beans, pretty beans bizarre good things for your there, heart. too. So we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. Fried, ban fried bananas is actually really good. M more beans? Eat your fiber, kid. We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Fiber! Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Uh, okay, I'll need help. Leave it all to me. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh. Oh. They're not even... Arrogant, wealthy woman. what I'm doing. Oh, salad. Okay, interesting. Oh. I just want to eat. And... Wait. You know, you probably could have just boxed that and brought it home. This is a game to you? N not exactly. Buffet, don't go nuts. I know it's all you can eat, but don't be wasteful. Uh, 
I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? I'm starting to think that he is. Hey, same goes for you. What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? What the... There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We were here first, now apologize to my friend. What do you want? We were here first. What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, it's I'm sorry. A... So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It's an elevator. Just go in when it opens. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. There's an open guy. elevator behind you. Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. Just shitty people in general, Sakamoto. What's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. Don't worry about it. That's just gonna make me worry more, you know. I bet it's because he rarely eats well. I'm always stuck with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! you so long why are you all pissy sorry I had a run-in with some woman a second ago she bumped into me but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate <laughs> sounds like a real bitch yeah yeah thanks though but the restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression I wonder if we're out of place here. It always feels like this. <clears throat> hey Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! There are a lot of victims. I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, 
I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as phantom thieves. Sounds dandy. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't oh, it? Oh, darn. I got to use Indeed. my cool angel that dude. That can't be a... Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Fine by me. I want to help for it. I want to help people. Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. Just little birds. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? That sounds tough. No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. The fact Morgana's crushing on Ahn is adorable. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. How about the diamonds? <laughs> Veto. I'm getting the real Little League Baseball feel from it. I agree. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about just the Phantom Thieves? How about Tilefish Poilet? You're hungry, aren't you? Tile, uh, what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. Your team name may be seen by others when using network services. Please be cautious not to enter any personal information or more than not enter a name that could be considered offensive. The Phantoms. I mean... Yeah, that sounds fine. I honestly can't think of a name. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Works for me. Huh. That's not bad at all. A good name. For a rookie. Save it, cat. We going with that? If that's okay. Well, now that the name's set, Phantom Thieves who's form. our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Like a CEO or a celebrity? Yeah. Something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryu. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. Yeah. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Okay, getting stiff.
Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. I told you that you wouldn't be- I knew- uh, I told you. I told you that you wouldn't believe me. Believe what you will. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. There are many more events that I must inquire on. Lies and false accounts are eventually exposed. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Madarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. Okay. So, I'm a vigilante. Uh, excuse me. Mm. That cost $20,000. 20,000. Hold on a damn minute. Thousand yen to U.S. dollars. That's a hundred and seventy-six dollars. What buffet costs a hundred and seventy-six dollars? Even if it's at a hotel, I can go to the Chinese buffet in my town for less than ten dollars. Yeah, wonder who made it. No clue. It's better than I expected. So much days. Can I go downstairs? Hey. Yes, I have school tomorrow, but I want to study. Let's not do that today. I'm going back to the metaverse, velvet room, sex dungeon. Yes, I just described it as that. I'm not apologizing. Hello, Igor. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. You have a giant fucking nose, dude. I want to get that trimmed down. To think our master would give words of praise. You're a very kind... I don't even know what you are, Justine. I assume you're just a child, but... You look human, but I don't know for certain. You better treasure this moment, inmate! And you are still hostile. You have encountered allies who share your aesthetics, and you have found your place in reality. I am picturing Igor with a glass of bourbon and a fine cigar. I can't be the only one picturing Igor with a, with a glass of bourbon and a fine cigar. Maybe a the pipe? The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. I don't understand what that means. I don't know, what do you mean by that? Just shut up and listen, inmate! There is no need to be so hostile, Caroline. Okay? Caroline! Calm down, there is no reason to be so hostile. You have a special potential. However, 
That must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. Wait a minute, I've noticed something. There are letter there on the text with their spelling. The G is highlighted. His name is Igor. And that's what he said earlier. I say Igor because young Frankenstein, but that's not important. That is their pronunciation. That is the that's the letter you put emphasis on. That's clever. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. Coming ruin. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. So kicking ass and taking names? I kinda like that. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. And it helps me kick ass and take names. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. So your name would be Caroline. Not Carolyn. There's emphasis on the E, so it's Caroline. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. The S is highlighted in her name, so it's Justine, not Justine. There's no emphasis on the E, so your name is Justine. That is actually a really clever way to get the pronunciations. I didn't notice that right away. Good on you, Atlas. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Or maybe this that's, that's just some kind of crazy coincidence and they just think it looks cool. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractor's inmate. There is no reason to be so hostile, Caroline. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. You're a very kind person, Justine. At least I think you're a person. You look like a child, but you could easily just be a shadow in the form of a child. This world is weird. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power <clears throat> of opposition. <clears throat> it seems the rehabilitation is going well. This is a truly joyous occasion. I still don't know what you mean by rehabilitation. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes of you. My bond with Igor is going deeper. Power stock. Increase your persona stock slots to eight. All right. The time has come. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. Caroline, Caroline, you don't need to be so hostile. Form our contract with confidants. In other words, don't be a dick to your friends. Oh, um. I don't know what any of that is. Admin has to be trolling. Not even worth a laugh. Have you heard? Huh. 500 wow. yen. Uh. That's about 50 cents. No, that's. Four dollars and forty-two cents, excuse me. One yen equals roughly one American cent. That actually sounds awesome. Eat a burger for four bucks? Yes, please. If it's a good burger. Okay, quiet burger, down. A good burger. I got a new one recently. 
makes less noise. So that's good. Okay. Kawhi Akami. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed it. Okay. <sighs> the teachers have it rough, huh? They're certainly not paid enough. I gotta deal with shitty kids. And they're not paid enough. Hmm. Different personalities. Okay. Hmm. Oof. What? Hmm. Seem more alert than usual. Did I say something wrong? Okay. See. Subconscious personalities is a fascinating topic, and it has a lot to do with us. The teacher's surprisingly smart, huh? She kinda has to be. Feels like gaining that knowledge may be a bit smarter. I'm still oblivious. All right. I mean, that's that's cool. That's fine. It ain't much, but we've been getting more postings on the Phantom Aficionado website. Neat. I want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff I lent him. Ugh, deal with that yourself. Ooh, that's good drink. Hey, those girls. It's a Smirnoff original. Good old lemon lime drink cooler. Nice and sweet. You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamoshida's heart? I wonder if it's true. Yes, yes, it is true. I stole his the manifestation of his twisted desires. And I wanted to shove it up his ass. And always he gets his comeuppets at the end and he feels like a horrible human being. Because he is. He's a horrible human being. It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? Yes. If only you knew we were standing right around the corner listening to your conversation. But look what happened to Kamashita. <clears throat> he probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. He seemed quite content with it. Yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. At least it keeps things interesting. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. Doubt it. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. If we can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots... You don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. That rumor actually has some foundation to it. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, all right? Yes, yes. I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. I want to grab an instance. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. The thing is, if you don't want to pay for an oil burner, you can get incense burning things for a couple bucks at Walmart. So, you know, you don't really have anything to lose. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. No, I guess like no, I guess they don't. I'm just gonna put Excuse it in a me. soda bottle. Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamoshida-kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. And I got it going. 
I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamashita, but do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Principal. Your conduct is good, and teachers Principal. favor you. Principal. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Th thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. She also looks distinguishable your sister from is other still young, characters. This is probably yet she be holds an admirable her. position. If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I... Yes, if you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm hmm, of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be... Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. Here, I saw them in the entrance. I saw them too. They were talking to teachers. That change of heart thing's seriously amazing. They don't find that we're responsible. How could they? We don't need to worry then. school. Mishima! Hey! You cleaned yourself up, man. How you doing? Have you seen that Phantom Aficionado website? I've heard of it. I'm the one who started it. Nice. Um, you guys are the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? What? Sorry. Although... If things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Please do! Kamoshida used me, and I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. That's great, but... I'm glad to hear that. There are many more evil adults outside of Kamoshida. Oh, that's without a doubt. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I hope someday my forum is filled with supportful posts. 
I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? Do what you want. Just don't rat me out to the cops. Yeah, I will. You're gonna do what you want, or, you're, or are you gonna rat me out to the cops? That's not very reassuring. Oh, he's, yo, he's totally gonna be a party member. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. There's what do you have to one. say to that? Eat shit. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the moon persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. In the secret room. Allows backup members to earn experience. Super Butterbuns brought this up in her video. It doesn't matter if a party member is in the party or not. They're getting experience, so they all stay leveled, so they all stay around the same level and don't become unusable. I love that. Go watch her channel, by the way. She's a crazy bitch and she's funny as hell. All right. See you. We heard all that. Jeez. It was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that forum is Mishima-kun's. How did he find out has about he us? figured out our identities? Yes! Were you not listening, cat dude? Even so, I think it'll be fine. He seemed to be... I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though... A forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. It's not like you're any better. All you're good at is English. I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. <laughs> Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. <laughs> What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> Good comeback, huh? It wasn't bad. Let's discuss this with our fists. Bring it. Will you two stop it? Well, that has got claws, dude. He will tear you up. Cats are mean little shits, and I like cats. I do like cats. I got three cats in my own, and they're all shitheads. I swear to God, I had my cats last night was quite zealous with hogging the bed. Okay. What to do between targets? Do pretty much whatever the hell you want. What you up to? Let's go hang out with him. Let's hang out with my bro. Yo. Hang out with him. Wanna get going? Do some jogging. Oh my god, this must be almost an hour. <sighs> what the hell do you think you're doing? 
Whoa! Goto Takashi. No. Sure. What, you wanna try and what you wanna train with us? What the heck is up with this guy? Hold on. Aren't you that transfer student? You're really gonna hang around this loser? Yeah, I'm gonna hang around with him. Calm down, buddy. You're right. Ah. Look, back then I... I nearly smacked him when he was talking about my dad. I haven't changed at all. But you know, you actually helped me calm down. I'm glad you were here with me. Thanks. Chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Oh! <laughs> I am gonna like that one. All right. <clears throat> hmm? Now they're just arguing with each other. I should stay out of it. See ya. Excuse me. Oof. The one on my nose. It burns. Hey. That's the key of this place. You can't... You get to lock up from now on. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay? I'll try not to. I do like to burn incense, though. I can now leave Yogan Jaya at night. Listen up. Let's study some more. Make get sure my knowledge up. up. It's good to up my social stats as much as I can. Can I talk? The other day I saw on TV. Oh, I didn't mean to distract you. I'll try to stay quiet. <clears throat> what are your thoughts? Still oblivious, apparently. Six percent of people approve. Hey. Okay. Hmm. Kamoshida's incident. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, you've got exams starting on Wednesday. Don't tell Open me you your forgot. textbooks. Anyway, today we'll be talking about the tale of the bamboo cutter. Most theorize it's the oldest story in Japan. For some, it's the oldest science fiction story in history. In the world. If you ask me, it's the oldest story in Japan about a terrible woman. I mean, Princess Kaguya gives her suitors absurd tasks, demands fancy gifts, then runs off to the moon. Some men lose their fortunes, some are humiliated, and some even get serious wounds or go blind. Women like Princess Kaguya actually show up a lot in uh, a lot of stories from around the world. Now then, Seraphkun. 
Do you know the answer? What do people generally call a woman that has a charm that sometimes leads men to their doom? A femme fatale. I know that exactly. thanks to the Green Scorpion. Go check his channel out. You know, if you like Latino Let's Players, I don't know how to put this. He makes countdowns and Let's Plays. Go watch his channel. I'll probably put a link in the description. Literally translated, it means fatal woman. Some famous examples are the witch Morgan Le Fay from Arthurian legend and Queen Salome from the Bible. Salmon. 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 Salmon from the Bible. I don't remember the toy, the tale of Queen Salome. Not to mention the wild, seductive dancer of the opera, Carmen. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Oh yeah, uh, Anne's persona is actually based off of a Latin opera, simply called Carmen. Nice going. Still oblivious, apparently. All right. I'm very glad my microphone's not picking up my family in the other room. None of these posts are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Welcome to the internet. Uh, there ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably- We can wait and see for a little longer. Then worry about coming up empty-handed if it happens. Oh. Oh, it's This you. place is off-limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the girl of rumor, and the infamous transfer student. Interesting combination. <laughs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. A little too well, if you ask me. Sometimes. Anyone who attends this school would have interacted with him, whether they liked it or not. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him, Mr. Kam? Oh yes, I do. What's all hate this him. about? My friend here is an upstanding guy. I am quite literally standing. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. Ooh, calling her a teacher's pet. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. She's figured us out. Yeah, talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. 
Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so lame. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. Oh my god, I've been going over an hour. What are Let you bringing us here for? Point. Just do as I told you. All right, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said there's no info on any big shots. Don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. Doc's saying it's bad people don't do it. People have been killed because of it. Won't listen to what I say. No, wait. There's no name on this one. Someone's bad-mouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker's stalking someone? Creepy. That should be a suitable target. All right. Now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey! What happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? We need to do this. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about! Okay then, let's go! We need a name and a place, right? So the name is... Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is... Mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh... Mementos, was it? We got a hit? Just as I thought. Everyone disappeared. It, it kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? There are stairs right behind you. How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. Okay, this one's been going on for quite a while. What the hell is this place? Wait, our clothes changed? Oh my god! The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us! We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you oh, start yeah, explaining. Oh yeah, brought this up in her video too. Mementos is... everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? <sighs> oh my god! A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. Okay. 
Okay. That's where we are now. Ne now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just... Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. I don't understand it. So what you're saying is... Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we going to be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana! Transform! Transformers, cats in disguise. Come now, Panther. Ladies first. Aren't you supposed to be wanting inside her? Never mind, I'm sorry. That was bad. That was tasteless. I'm sorry. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turning into a car is totally different than our clothes changing! For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. Why a bus, though? No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Good point. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! No, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! Ship it! All aboard! Let's go! Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? Yes. I've driven in a game. Time to bust out my moves. Um, safety first, okay? You'd better not smash up my beautiful face. You hear me? I'll try my All best. All right, then. We'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. I know how to drive, Morgana. Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickles. Lower. Lower! Oh, God. Oh, there! That feels so good. This car's a vibrator, isn't it? Uh, is that Burren I hear? Oh, what a creepy-ass car. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. Oh. We're going full throttle. It's time to fly! Okay, I think I finally hit a stopping point. Okay, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I go through Mementos. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. Holy shit, will you people learn to shut up? Oh yeah, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and whatever.